What's going on guys, Andy here, Cut and Clean Lawn Care, and today is gonna to be my first scheduled day of the season. And I've gotten a lot of comments, people wanting me to go through my trailer setup, my lawn care setup for 2018. So before I get rolling and start on the vlog, I'm gonna do this video for you guys. I uh, just wanted to spend a second real quick and say, Dude, we're over 9,000 subscribers. We're shooting on our way to be at 10,000 subscribers and I appreciate each and every one of you. I've enjoyed my time doing this and uh, getting to meet a lot of you guys and put a lot of faces with the people that comment on my video, which is awesome, man. I appreciate all you guys. Uh, before the video starts, man, go ahead and hit that like button. Leave a comment if you want to. Let's get into the setup. All right, guys, so starting off, and you already know, 2011 Ford F-150 FX4. This is a flex fuel vehicle, 5.0 liter Coyote motor. Uh, it's done great for me. I definitely want to get some uh, different wheels and tires for it, but this is what I'm running right now for my truck. Uh, it does great. Uh, I could use something a little bit heavier pulling the setup I have now compared to what I've always ran before, but you just kind of kind of let it go. For the trailer, I have a T8416. This is a Doolittle trailer. I got the front box and I got the uh, Cut and Clean Lawn Care logo in the front. Store a lot of straps and things like that in this, which is perfect. Mocan decals where I buy all my stuff. Great guys, Rob and Bonnie over there at Mocan. Uh, the trailer's got two foot sides. It is a 16 by seven. Uh, graphics on the sign done by RP, that's Randy Palmer. Go check him out at G4 Outdoors, man. He did a great job on the graphics. I love the contrasting colors. Uh, when I was working with Doolittle on this trailer, they upgraded the wheels and tires and all that stuff for me. Looks really good on the trailer. I've enjoyed it thoroughly. Got e track system on the inside, four HD D rings running through the trailer. We got full LEDs all the way around. Turn them on, there you go. LEDs all the way around, even on your side steps. This is the uh, new spring assisted gate for Doolittle. Let's see if I can do this one handed. It's always really hard to do one handed, but I'll have to drop you for a second. Pick your eye back up. Like I said, spring assisted. So it'll just kind of hover. Didn't even hit the ground right there, as you can see. Now it's on the ground. I love that gate, man. It's made a big difference in uh, fatigue throughout the day. So let's start with the big mower. This is a brand new 2018 Gravely Pro Stance 48. Just picked this up this year. I will be purchasing it. I just sold my old one. And we upgraded to the uh, OCDC chute on the side of it which I got mixed feelings on right now because it turned this 48 into a 50. And I know I have a couple gates that just squeak on by. So we'll see how that works. You guys know how I feel about Gravely. I love this machine. The Gravely machines work great for me. Don't leave it in the comments below about how Gravely sucks, blah, blah, blah. We get it. Not every mower is for everybody. The same reason I don't run Skags and I don't run whatever else I run. This is what I run. This is what I enjoy. Whatever mower you guys run, I hope you enjoy yours as well. FX691V motor. So it's ready to go. Uh, over here, we still got the old Encore. I've had this thing, I don't know, what do you guys think? Three years? I don't know how long I've had this. Someone probably knows. Three years or so, 36. It's still going, it's still running strong. I obviously have to fix it constantly, but it still works and does great. Something else I'm taking this year that I never take is a Troy built little throwaway push mower. Main reason for this is I have a couple smack backyards that are super, super, super tiny and I can just get in and out with them. And you never know when you're gonna need a push mower. So I just threw it in here, it stays in here. If I need it, I need it. If I don't, I don't. Oh yeah, and on the uh, Encore, we got the uh, Jungle Gyms Sulky, which I don't like because they don't spin 360, they stop where the wheels hit. Then uh, for the backpack blower, still BR700 is still what I am running with. Stick Edger, I got an Echo. I don't know what size or brand or model this is, it's an Echo. Stick edger, still FS100 RX string trimmer, and I still have the Echo SRM225 that I got from Danny. Graphics also continue on this side. Uh, the hitch, I believe it's just an Acme. 
cheapo Acme. Not much you can do with it. It's what I could find for the time, you know. This unlocked, this is unlocked. Okay, so it looks like we're running, obviously, SureCan gas cans. SureCan's been a great company to me, and uh, they work really good. I gotta get those filled up as soon as possible. Taking a little handheld blower, BG86C from Still. That's that one where people stole some stuff off my vehicle and accidentally left their own, so you win some, you lose some. And I got my little cooler filled with water because I've been drinking nothing but pop. And as far as securing the mowers down, these are quick loader straps, which uh, I like them a lot. Got them over there. Got a couple little inserts on the uh, track system. They're great, man. They're a time saver for sure. Definite time saver. Like I said, guys, nothing too fancy. This is my setup. This is what I'm gonna be rolling with day in and day out throughout this year. In case something comes up, something needs to change, obviously we'll be changing things. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not much to it. Oh yeah, equipment defender racks. I know you guys already know this. Equipment defender racks, I love these racks. I've noticed a lot of people in the community switching over to Green Touch. Dude, that's absolutely fine. That is awesome. If that's the product you wanna run, great dude. I'm totally happy for you. But these have worked great for me and I'm totally happy with them. I do consider them the best exposed and or open trailer racks possible. I don't know how their racks are for the enclosed trailers. I've heard some people say uh, other brands might be better on the enclosed standpoint. But as far as the open trailer goes, I love these racks, man. And if you guys get a chance, make sure you go over there, equipmentdefender.com, use code CUT AND CLEAN, save yourself 10%, there will be links down below if you're interested in purchasing them. But yeah, I love these racks, man, they ain't going anywhere. So now I can end this out with the same thing I was saying, but like I said, guys, I appreciate every single one of you. It's been a great journey. I appreciate you following me along with this journey. 2018 season, I believe, is gonna be as big as ever. I'm getting tons of phone calls. Something else I are also upgraded for the 2018 season is Ring Lawn Care, ring-a-ding, man. He's uh, helped me revamp my website completely. It looks amazing and is working well. I've been getting a lot of calls from it. That's another thing that I'm considering in the setup as far as marketing value goes. Having him help me with my website was probably one of the best decisions I've done. So that's definitely something we're getting into this year. But uh, let's quit yapping and uh, You'll have another video coming. It's gonna be my vlog from today's mowing. I'll be skipping a lot of properties, but I'll also have a lot of properties I'll be mowing for sure. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, and I love you. Right now you're getting a really bad angle because the sun's back there. And I can flip it back around, I'm not scared. I love you. Have a nice day.